This county may soon start a new program that would allow people caught picking up prostitutes to avoid jail time. They want first-time offenders to pay a fine and take a class instead of spending 30 days in jail. KXA's Brittany Glass explains why they believe this program will cut down on sex crimes. A more holistic approach. That's the thought behind the John School. We think it's going to serve about 167 um, Johns a year. The program is designed for first-time offenders arrested for paying for sex. Often people are arrested. Um, they're thrown into jail without any sort of intervention, and uh, they're back out on the street uh, purchasing commercial sex again. KXAN spoke with law enforcement three years ago about the area's prostitution problem. It's just continued to be a problem, and so what we're trying to do is address it random times throughout the year to make sure that they know that we're still out here. This year, they're hoping combining an arrest with treatment will make a dent in the criminal activity. Those arrested would pay $250 to take an eight-hour class. Talks about the impacts of, on their health, impacts on their families, impacts on the community. It would go hand-in-hand hand with the county's Phoenix Court created last year. This program offers similar services for women arrested for prostitution. And the way we've always dealt with it in the past was they would be arrested and quite frankly would be released after a short stint in jail and would return to do the exact same thing. Offering offenders another option that will hopefully hold for good. We're hoping that this will be an intervention at the beginning that will um, assist in helping uh, these perpetrators of this crime. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. If offenders complete the course successfully, they will not be convicted of the crime. However, there would still be a record of the arrest. County officials say the money raised for the class is slated to go towards prostitution victim services. Travis County Commissioner's Court will hear this proposal on Tuesday. Some say these programs are making a big difference in the number of people working on Austin streets. In 2013, police records show prostitution arrests shot up by more than 50 percent to nearly 400 cases. Since then, the numbers have steadily dropped. And so far this year, there have been only 173 prostitution arrests. We also found these programs are popular. There are more than three dozen cities nationwide with John's schools in place. Those include large cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, Kansas City, Minneapolis, and Las Vegas. We also found one in Waco. Most of these cities started their programs in the 1990s and early 2000s.